hello guys welcome to my channel thank you very much for all the love for all the support you guys are sharing and keeping the work going we are still going higher in terms of subscribers and all that so I really appreciate in this video I'm going to show you or tell you a few rules that I use so that I can detangle my hair I took out my hair on Sunday and somehow gave it some time unfortunately I did not manage to do all the things that I wanted to do but this is why I am doing this video so that we can all get assistance We will go straight to the tips that we use or rather the tips that I use so that I can make sure that my hair is smooth after taking out braids or even cornrows or any of that. The rule number one that I broke very badly is that when you take out your hair, you detangle immediately. Yeah, that one I did not do and uh, I think you can see my hair. This is how it looks. I also somehow gave my son to play around with it so it looks something like that it's not looking very good so I'm going to of course take it out so that we can at least get help so this is how my hair looks as you can see of course as I said it's not looking really good and uh, even when I try to comb of course it's going to give me some issues and that takes us to rule number two use a wide tooth comb comb and if you can you can also combine the two of them so this is what i'm going to do pole pole i come through as i try to save myself from this very very tangled hair yes you have seen rule number two is working but at the same time it's something that i need to work on rule number three use water and if you can if it's very extreme you can use a conditioner to make sure that you like apply so that your hair smoothens or becomes a little softer so that it's easy for you to come through because like if you have 4C hair like me you can attest to the fact that sometimes uh, this one is a hassle it can be a very very huge hassle so do it in small portions until you are able to come through your hair properly number four make sure that you are doing it in sections because if you don't do it in sections i'm telling you it's going to be very rough on you so i've taken this part that i've like applied a little water and uh, i'm first of all trying to finger comb because finger combing helps it a lot as you can see it's very tangled so we'll do it section by section because if we attempt to do the whole head it's going to be very very difficult yeah so Pole pole. at least from there you can see this one is done then you go to the other sections and when you do the same we meet on the other side rule number five is that you need to give your hair time before washing or shampooing this is because as you're washing there's a, a tendency of you trying to scratch the scalp and everything so it makes your hair a bit or rather your scalp gets a little bit disturbed and it could also uh, like make you uncomfortable when you're doing any other process so try your best to make sure that you give it time immediately after detangling you can give it some time i like to give around uh, maybe like 12 hours or so or even 24 hours if i have that time but if you don't have that time maybe you can just give it like 12 hours so if you take out at night maybe the next day you can you can go ahead and and do the other process of washing i did not part my hair into proper sections yet and that's because from the bottom it's really tangled so i want to do this first of all then when i know i have finger combed properly then i can go ahead and put in a comb so that i can divide in proper sections and probably do some twist outs or something just to make it comfortable so as you can see it's really detangling very well and I see a difference between this front part and the other part that is not tangled or rather detangled sorry so I think that the front part is almost done so we go to the back part for me small portions really work well with me so 
I'm at the middle. My finger come through. Then I go to the back side. Pole pole. Until we are done. So after this, now I can go ahead and comb using my usual comb. This is my first <laughs> white toothed comb, I would say. <laughs> Some of, of this were not done very carefully, so of course I had to be thin because I had delegated that to my son, so you can only imagine what is happening here. So I think I am done with finger combing. I'm almost satisfied, not 100% of course. So I'm going to go ahead and use the comb now, but I can see if there's anything better 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 better, better. <laughs> so at least right now i think i can use the comb yeah it's going to be comfortable a little comfortable i'm going to section the hair into four parts maybe not very equal but yeah four parts so let me do this and i see you on the other side still some parts that require a little more combing So yeah, something close to that. And then on the sides. So for this one section, I'm going to show you how I like comb through pole pole. Then I will go to the other sections. I will show you the final results after I am done. I start with the tips. As you can hear, still there is a cracking sound. <laughs> so that means there are some parts that are not yet very well moisturized. But of course, that's why we are here. If you feel like the portion is too big, you can make sure that you do it in a smaller portion. And just like that. I feel comfortable, so I'll go ahead and do a twist out and do the rest for the other portions.
rule number six is that you go ahead and shampoo and condition and you make sure that you rinse out very well this is something i like to insist very much because some people do not understand um shampoos and treatments or conditioners are also chemicals i would say so if you don't give your hair like a proper rinse out for anything even if it's conditioner if it remains on your scalp there's a way it's going to continue acting even if it's slowly it's not like a relaxer but slowly it's going to be working on your scalp or even on your hair and it can easily harm your hair and also the volume or even on your scalp uh, you can even get burns even if it's slowly but slowly so make sure you rinse out like for me this time it's going to be different because i am going to be washing using a jug and all that but you have to rinse out very well both the shampoo and the conditioner that you're using and that will help you maintain your hair uh, the, the length and also the volume in general and then rule number seven in the process of this takeout and everything and washing and all that once you finish all this please do not braid immediately unless it's very very important the only thing you can do is probably have twist outs or matuta as we call them the three strands uh, but don't braid immediately give your hair time i like to give my hair at least a week to rest and just before all those pulling you know they, they, they pull your hair and all that it gives your hair like your scalp mostly it gets disturbed so give it time and after that you can go ahead and do whatever style that you want also another thing is that you should not break your hair for more than three weeks i know sometimes it's very difficult for many of us but for me this rule has really helped me uh this time i kind of broke broke the rule and i went to the hair for around three weeks and around six days or something but as you can see every rule that you break has a consequence for example i have lost a lot of hair because of the simple things that i ignored or that i didn't do immediately so make sure that you're very careful and this will help your hair grow very well in a good health in good health like you can see my hair has become very dark because of also being very keen with treatments the oils and all that so thank you very much for watching this video and i hope that you will subscribe and also continue being a member of this family as we look out for things that we will do to help each other thank you